so welcome to the new course of sybsc which is uh, discrete mathematics the course code is 19 scm82 u302 so in the name of this course is uh, discrete mathematics so the prerequisites of the course are i will go through them first of all you will need some basic knowledge of propositions which we will also revise in the coming lectures you need to know something about what are truth values of statements and truth tables you also need some basic knowledge of uh, counting and uh, simple permutations and combinations the what is the objective of this course the objective of this course is first of all we must be able to check the equivalence of the statement pattern we you also should know something about uh, tautology and contradiction you need to know that there are various methods of proofs uh, now in this course we will learn there are different different methods of uh, proofs and we will study all those various types and not only simple counting but we will learn here some kind of advanced uh, counting let me quickly go through the syllabus of the course so the syllabus of the course contains the first chapter is propositional logic and predicates that chapter will cover the following points it will cover propositional logic it will cover propositional equivalences predicates and quantifiers and nested quantifiers some some parts are advanced some parts are elementary the second chapter that we will be doing is we will be focusing on methods of proofs so in that chapter we will first study something which is very important called as rules of inference and using these rules of inference we will be building some arguments and then we will come to the main theme of the chapter which is called methods of proofs there are three types that we are going to study in this course first is direct proofs second is proof by contraposition and third is proof by contradiction the third chapter will be basically based on counting techniques some counting techniques you have already covered in your earlier classes we will be revising a little bit that again that is the basic counting which is con consisting of sum rule and product rule and we will also study about permutations and combinations again so this will help you to build your basics in statistics also the next chapter will be advanced counting techniques now this is something which you have not covered in your earlier classes which are called generalized permutations and combinations which will contain permutations with repetitions and combinations with repetitions and last of this chapter is inclusion exclusion principle is also one of the important technique the fifth chapter in this course will be called as recurrence relations uh, here i will firstly introduce you what is meant by recurrence relation we will also solve some simple type of recurrence relations which are called as linear recurrence relations with constant coefficients and last is the homogeneous solutions when i teach you this chapter these bullets will be clear to you the reference books that we are going to reference books that we are going to refer for this particular course will be discrete mathematics and its applications by kenneth rosen and which is the seventh edition and these are some other references books and for counting techniques we are going to use this particular reference books which is applied combinatrix fourth edition both the soft copies are with us so you need not worry so let me go ahead now the basic question that students ask is that why should we actually study discrete mathematics so discrete mathematics basically is a course which develops your mathematical maturity okay you start thinking logically and you are able to come to the correct conclusions after viewing the arguments so it increases your ability to understand mathematical arguments and it also increases the ability to create mathematical arguments uh, 
not only this people of computer science also find this course very important it's a basic for them so this is supposed to be one of the foundation courses of computer science any computer science engineer or any software engineer will find he must be very much clear with his concepts related to discrete mathematics for example it can be found in data structure algorithms automata theory formal language compiler theory so if in future if you are thinking to go to into go into software you need to understand what is the basics of discrete mathematics one of the most important problems currently the world is facing is related to security so this is one of the very important tools also used in cyber security these are some of the important fields that discrete mathematics plays its role automata algorithms then combinatorix complexity these are some very important words that are given usual world in uh, which is trying to go ahead so for example if you can see this particular picture this is a uh, this is a picture of a signal which is actually called a digital signal so to understand the the theory of digital signal processing uh, one has to be very clear with discrete you can see that this this is having values at at a b c d and the graphs are increasing or decreasing so this is a digital signal whereas if you see this graph this graph is like a continuous function this is called as analog signal so there are basically two two things one is digital signal and other is analog signal so it has always been a task of converting an analog signal into a digital signal or a digital signal into an analog signal for example if i just show you the small picture like this is the input that that input is a discrete signal and and that and that digital signal is converted into network and then digital signal processors convert that digital signal into an analog signal so this is how you convert a digital signal into an analog signal not only this people which are in medical field also find digital signal processing very important just look at your heartbeat your heartbeat is p q r s t these are the five strokes that a heart makes and these five strokes are like a digital signal and that is converted into a analog signal so here also you will find that in electronics field also digital signal study of discrete mathematics which is a base of all digital signals is also very important this is again the same thing digital signal is converted into an analog signal i am showing you a picture of how that digital signal is converted via an ecg into an analog signal so the programming of this ecg is basically nothing but because of a digital signal converting into a analog signal and that technology is uh, basically using something called as fourier series important uh, things that also came to be is something called as partition theory so partition theory is something in which i'll just show you an example of this uh, one you can write as one but two you can write as addition of two things first you can keep two as it is and you can write two as one plus one also you can write three as three one plus two one plus one plus one so if you take any number you can write it in write it as addition of smaller numbers and the question was if you take a number 100 how many how many different different additions you can write so that the sum will be equal to 100 so this is this big number so and if you increase the number you will you understand that the number of ways it can be written as addition also is very large so this is a very important field in mathematics so that's why i've written here that discrete mathematics includes logic set theory number theory linear algebra abstract algebra combinatorix graph theory probability theory everywhere discrete mathematics is widely used and the formula of this particular thing that if you give me any number how many such partitions these are called as partitions how many such partitions will you get this is this was one of the most important and difficult problems and these and this problem was solved by an indian mathematician shrinivas ramanujan this is the reason he's he's very famous personality was and he has contributed great deal of things in 
mathematics so in short if i just preview all the things these are all the fields where discrete mathematics is used currently if you now have a market survey you will understand that data analysis machine learning everything is very important like tableau are all these things have a very big contrib uh, have a very a uh, big thing that uh, discrete mathematics is one of the basic things that you will need to learn this particular subject so now i will stop with the introduction of the course